Welcome to AM Buffalo on this beautiful Friday. It's a bit chilly out there. I'm Emily Lampa. I'm Mercedes Wilson, and we are here at the Buffalo Auto Show for the second day, and I have to say two things. I'm very happy that we're here another day. Yes. And Emily, you look beautiful in your red today. You do too. But this is by no coincidence. Yes. <laughs> today happens to be Wear Red Day, of course, for the American yes. Heart Association. We're showing our support, yes, raising awareness are. about heart disease, the number one killer of women. So we're doing our part. And just a heads up. Yes. Mercedes and I will be emceeing their luncheon next yes. week. So make sure you look out for that because we are going to have a live show previewing that event right before the actual luncheon takes yes. place. So make sure you watch AM Buffalo all next week for that. Yeah, it's But hard. isn't it nice? It's almost as if the auto show knew it was go uh, wear red day. It, it did, <laughs> it did. And as if it, knew, it, it, as if it knew that we're talking electric vehicles today because, Emily, are you excited for this? I am, I am very much so. But I did want to mention that mm -hmm. I did say that it was cold today, but that should not keep you from heading out to the auto show yeah. because this is one of the warmest places yes. i should say hottest places <laughs> because of all the hot vehicles that they have for yes. 2023 yes speaking come out. of electric vehicles yes come out and this is a family event as well so yes. bring your children as well and we'll talk about that a little bit with paul but make sure you bring the kids out as well it's going to be fun yeah. and if you have no plans for the weekend make this your plan yep. this is fantastic it's going on all weekend we'll have all the details on legit i always say logistics but i should just say date and times yep. that all is very important yep. and we'll make sure that we give you all the information and where you can go to get your tickets yes. So All let's right. take a little walk because we have with us this morning Paul and John. And John, good We're morning. We're here to talk morning. about, of course, I was going to say the trend, but it's not a trend. This is where we're going now, mm -hmm. electric vehicles. Yeah. So, Paul, let's start by talking about how many vehicles here represent this trend. Well, we got a lot of red hot vehicles that will get your heart pumping. <laughs> all over the thing. Yeah. You know, we, we have 15 vehicles dedicated in the energy room. And when I say the energy room, that's for John and his team. Our friends from New York State Power, or New York Power, NYSERDA, National Grid will as, answer the questions that, quite honestly, will validate a lot of our salespeople. Are yeah. It's all about mm -hmm. education. And we're salespeople, they think. So let them hear from the experts about the transition. Yeah. So then throughout the rest of the show, many of our manufacturers also, we didn't have enough space down there. So they've incorporated EVs in their own physical displays, whether it be a lightning up here or, or Volkswagen, or whoever, right. Toyota. They brought their vehicles in their display with their other product specialists. Yeah. So there's multiple times for education. And, and John, I want to ask the question that I'm sure so many people are at home wondering, what does this mean for our roadways and for our environment? Much cleaner, healthier, uh, electric vehicles provide, um, <clears throat> excuse me, less pollution, mm -hmm. less greenhouse gas emissions. So again, making our communities much healthier, better air quality as well. Yeah. John, one of the things that I know a lot of our viewers out there are probably asking is how are you going to make this easier for us? Yeah. Because I know that New York State is very much on board with a facilitating, you know, the transition to electric. What ways can you help the folks out there who might be watching who say, I might get an electric vehicle? New York State has a point of sale rebate to help offset the cost of an electric vehicle, up to $2,000 based on the range and MSRP. Um, there's also a federal tax credit that can help up to $7,500 on certain makes and models to help offset those costs as well. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk infrastructure. How might things start to look different around New York State? We us? are doing the job. We have about 9,000 charging stations around the state now and we're hoping to confidently keep that number going. Um, there's also a New York State tax credit up to $5,000, 50% off the total cost of installing a electric vehicle charging station. Um, I'm sure you've seen them sprout up. There's plenty here in Erie mm -hmm. County, mm -hmm. and we're confident that we can keep that number rising. That's and if good. folks have questions about all of this, mm -hmm. about the growing uh, need for electric power stations, the growing need for infrastructure, mm -hmm. and really what they need to know when they're you know, considering legislation that might be going on in the state of New York, where do they go for that information? Our website, for sure, NYSERDA, N-Y-S-E-R-D-A, dot N-Y dot G-O-V. We're always updating that. And also the thing about these electric vehicles, it's a community. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of resource groups, like you see them on Facebook or other social media platforms, where these people get together, they talk. It is, it's really a lifestyle change. It is. It is. Speaking of the lifestyle change, what 
is it? And you, you hit on that, Mercedes, mm -hmm. earlier about talking about how great it is for the environment. But when we talk about moving towards having electric vehicles, the more we move, what is the percentage that it really kind of improves the environment as more cars hit the road like this? I think just by our ambitious goals, you know, by 2035, um, any new vehicle, car, truck must be zero emission. Mm -hmm. So I think as soon as we keep ramping up those numbers, we're going to see dramatic differences in air quality, especially in our um, disadvantaged communities as well. Yeah. Great. Right. Well, That's you know what, John Nacroto, thank you so much. Thank and you. of course, Paul Stasiak. He's the man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call Paul. Call John. Yes. That's and great again, your website, if you could. Yes. Uh, Nyserda, NY. Dot gov. That's n y s e r d a. Dot n y. Dot gov. And for folks who aren't familiar with it, could you just tell us what that acronym stands yes, for? Yes, it's the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. Thank yes, you. Yes, so and much. they will be here at the Buffalo Auto Show. So stop by, ask them questions, and we're not going anywhere. So stay here. There's so much more to come. We're here at the Buffalo Auto Show.